what's up guys it is three in the morning on a wednesday here in south florida uh, right now i'm about to take an uber to my friend eddie's house uh, we're then going to go to the airport and catch a plane to california where we're going to visit cheapy race who's just finished eddie's twin turbo huracan evo so pretty cool we're gonna you know go see the shop take the car out uh, drive around take some pictures go see the sights and uh, a couple of our other buddies are actually coming uh, Johnny, who actually has an AMS Alpha 10 Audi R8 V10 Plus, and Clay, who also has a Sheepy Race Huracan. Uh, you may have seen his car on my Instagram uh, during Texas 2K, which we attended uh, last month. So it should be a pretty cool vacation, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So we are in LA. We uh, just left the airport. We got our Turo. It's a nice new 7 Series. Uh, our two other friends, Clay and Johnny, actually just landed. So we're going to drive back right now and pick them up. And uh, we're gonna go, then we're going to go check into the hotel. And uh, then we're going to head to Sheepy Race and uh, check out Eddie's Lamborghini Huracan Evo that has just received its new twin turbo kit, other, otherwise known as the Mac Daddy package from Sheepy Race. So stay tuned. All right, just got to the hotel here in Redondo Beach. Very nice view of the uh, harbor here, and then we have the ocean on the other side. Should be a nice place to stay for four days. All right, so we just got here to Sheepy Race in Southern California. Right now we're gonna go see Eddie's car, his Huracan Evo. They were uh, just finishing up, and uh, tomorrow we should be putting it on the dyno. All right, so here inside Sheepy Race, here's Eddie's Huracan Evo. They are just about finished installing the turbo kit. They have a few last odds and ends to button up, and then tomorrow the car is gonna be on the dyno. They actually have a hub dyno here and a regular roller dyno. Right now they've got a GTR on it. But as you can see, there is a plethora of twin turbo Lamborghini Huracans and Audi R8s, there's a ton over there. Really, really awesome new building they just moved into. So, and Clay's Huracan is actually here too. His car was getting its new built transmission. So it's somewhere over here in the sea of Lambos and R8s. But uh, tomorrow or Friday, we're gonna get this bad boy out on the street and uh, see what it can do. And then uh, in a couple more weeks, it'll be shipped back to South Florida. We'll all be doing a part two of this vlog. So we'll be actually doing a little miniature review on the car. So it should be pretty cool. Huracan, he also has the Mac Daddy package from Sheepy Race. You guys may have seen this car on my story during uh, Texas 2K that we attended a couple weeks ago. Right now they're pulling it next to Eddie's car. So we decided to try out Turo and get a uh, nice new 7 Series 740i M Sport while we're here in California. And uh, we noticed that the ride's a little rough and the tires are kind of loud because the tires are called Mucho Macho Tires. I don't know the name of the company. Oh, Cosmo? Don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but that'll probably explain the uh, tire noise and the kind of rough ride. Pretty funny. Actually, Ralph, Hello? I'll just go by. So some of you guys may have seen that I recently sold my 2014 S550, AKA Sabrina. Uh, and it turns out that there's an S63 that I found that happens to be down the road from Sheepy. So we're going to take a look at it. And uh, if I end up taking the car home, you guys will see it in the next video. So got an update for you guys. Didn't want to film at the guy's house, uh, especially while negotiating for a car. Uh, but I actually just bought my uh, ultimate dream car a uh, Mercedes AMG S63 uh, sedan and uh, hopefully in the next week or so I get it home back to South Florida. So you'll be seeing that car a lot on my channel very soon. Very excited to show it to you guys and um, yeah finally got another S63. So Alex Soto the owner of Sheepy Race here in Southern California 
has uh, actually just lent us uh, one of his uh, exotics for that are our rentals. Uh, it's a Lamborghini Urus that he tuned. We've got our rental, which is a nice 740i M Sport. We're about to go through some mountain roads. Should be pretty fun. Let's see how those mucho macho tires are. Were they macho mucho? Mucho macho? Mucho yeah, mucho? Muchos. Mucho they? something <laughs> tires. Let's see how they do. Hopefully we don't careen off of a uh, cliff. Yeah, cliff or over, I don't know, something like that. Into a big ditch. So we just stopped on the side of the road. We were doing some little mountain driving. Got the M Sport 740i, the sheepy tuned Lamborghini Urus. And uh, we're just doing some mountain driving on this beautiful day in Southern California. Just gonna walk up here and check out the mountains. Road, doing some canyon carving. Got the Urus ahead of us. Got these awesome views of the valley. One thing I noticed is that everybody hauls up here. It's crazy. We were behind a Prius like five minutes ago. We couldn't even keep up with them. Hear the turbos? Oh yeah, it's not a seven. It's not a seven fifty i, but it gets the job done. It's not even X drive. It's real wheel drive. Is it? At least the Urus is all wheel drive. It's got more grip. But this thing's kind of. Uh, we're torturing those mucho macho tires right now. Yeah, makes sense. Why it feels the way it does. Oh yeah. All right, so we're here in Inglewood, California, right now. We've got Eddie here. Uh, we actually just returned our Turo. It was the twenty twenty seven series uh, up the street from here. Um, aside from pretty bad customer service, it had a horrible cigarette smell, it was low on oil, a bunch of other things to navigate. The car thought it was somewhere in the mountains, we couldn't get it to reset the GPS coordinates. So we returned the car, got a full refund, and uh, we actually found an M850i Grand Coupe that uh, we're going to be going to pick up soon. So it really worked out for the best. It's a much more fun car uh, that we'll have during our time here in California. So right now, just sitting here on a bus bench, just had some Jack in the Box down the street. But it is a nice day out here in Southern California. So uh, hopefully soon our Uber gets here and we're going to uh, go pick up the MA50. What fish killed your own kids? Huh? Yeah, they'll do it all. Yeah. Fish your little sneaky yeah. Okay, so after a very interesting Uber ride, uh, about a half hour north of the hotel, we actually just got our new Turo rental. It's a nice loaded M850i Grand Coupe. Um, doesn't have those mucho macho tires. It actually has real tires. Very nice car. And uh, a welcome replacement of that 7 Series that we had. So here we go. All right, so we're here at Irwindale Speedway. Got the, uh, the Sheepy Race Urus. Got this gorgeous 488. Got our M850i loaner. Had to get rid of that 7 Series. Just wasn't working out. Um, Clay's Mac Daddy Package Huracan from Sheepy Race is actually on its way. We're going to run it down the track here. It's only an eighth mile, but it'll still be interesting to see what it does. Um, Eddie's car is actually going to be all buttoned up at the end of today, and they're going to uh, dyno it tomorrow. So we're going to head back to Sheepy in the morning, or maybe later in the afternoon, and I'll get some cool video of it getting dyno. And uh, then we're going to drive it around Southern California and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, here comes the gang of sheepy cars. Very nice Mustang. All right, so the sheepy cars just got here. We have this gorgeous Huracan Evo. Here's Clay's Huracan. It's another Evo right here. All different packages on them. This one has the forged carbon on the mirrors, forged carbon hood, forged carbon wing. Of course, Clay's car has those amazing B-Lock forged beadlock wheels as well as this one so we're gonna see what these things can do in the eighth mile probably not gonna be anything crazy as they really make a lot of their power or most of it uh, after the eighth mile but uh, should still be fun okay so we didn't end up running any of the cars it's really hot out it's pretty crowded uh, it's only an eighth mile so no reason to really risk uh, crashing plays Huracan uh, so right now we're gonna go find somewhere to eat maybe get some tacos or something 
All right, so it's Friday. We're back at GP Race. Uh, they've got Eddie's car all finished up. Okay, so Eddie's Huracan Evo is just about all buttoned up. Got all the oil, fluids, and everything inside. Just getting ready for the first startup. And then tomorrow, hopefully we can throw her on the dyno. And while we're here, Eddie decided to get this amazing set of beadlock, beadlock wheels with Mickey Thompson tires. Got the fronts right here. They're gonna look amazing, especially with those red brake calipers. And we got the red roll cage right here. Got all the red piping inside. Very awesome color scheme going on with this car. Okay, so we just left Sheepy Race. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to put Eddie's car on the dyno today to tune it or take it out on the street to drive it. He actually got a few more modifications ordered as well as some beadlock wheels with Mickey Tops and tires. So that, that should be done on Monday. So for the time being, uh, we're gonna head to Audi of Beverly Hills, look at some RS6s, might take one home, who knows? And uh, should be fun, Turn see you right guys there. I-10 East. So look at the uh, freeway entrances here in California. It's like a NASCAR oval. So we just left Audi of Beverly Hills. Uh, we actually took a Daytona Gray RS6 Amon out to test drive. Um, everyone was really cool there. Sadly, just like a lot of other dealerships right now in the United States, um, they want astronomical amounts over sticker. And uh, this particular dealership wanted $35,000 over sticker for the car that we drove. So Eddie was like, no way, not doing that, not paying, not even sticker. And we know they're very rare cars. There's only 400 in the U.S. And the way things are going right now, um, dealerships can't get cars. So bad time to buy a new car, unfortunately. So uh, right now we're actually headed to dinner, found some uh, Mexican restaurant. And then uh, what are we doing after that? It's a str Stranger Things. Stranger three Things drive through. So we're going to the Stranger Things drive through experience or something where you stay in your car and there's some kind of tour involving the show on Netflix, Stranger Things, which I'm sure many of you have seen. So uh, see you guys there. All right, so we just left dinner. Uh, couldn't find a Mexican restaurant, but uh, we did find a Jack in the Box. So uh, killed some time, sat in the parking lot. Now we're on the way to the Stranger Things experience. Um, not in the best area right now, if I'm honest, or kind of in the outskirts of downtown LA. But uh, right now Turn we're headed left to this. On Bay uh, Street. But right now we're headed to this Stranger Things thing. And uh, is this it right here? Yeah. Looks like it. Looks like a carnival or something. Not really sure. It's like a drive-through. Drive-through Stranger Things experience. And uh, in 700 feet, you'll arrive at 777 navigation. Alameda Street. Then we've got a 1:30 a.m. red eye flight to South Florida, Miami. It'll land at 9.30 Florida time, so it's going to be a very interesting night. So pretty cool so far. I haven't actually got into the drive through part, but um, we got our picture taken. If you guys can see that. Right, we got our picture. Got this Hawkins High reunion bag with uh, candy and uh, there's stuff in it, some snacks. There's actually a ton of cars in here. It's like a whole major production. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing, but uh, should be pretty cool. One last fun thing to do before we head back to South Florida. Okay, here we go. We go to the parking garage? Looks like it. Oh, this is cool. 
This is pretty cool so far. They got a whole parking garage. For this stupid mall. No burgers here, idiots. They can't even hear us. Right in its stupid face. Shut up, Dingo. He's running. Hey, hey, hey. I literally. That was pretty cool. I don't know if that was the end of the show or. Are we... Oh, we're still going up. Okay. This is pretty trippy. So you can't exactly bring a dually in here. I gotta say, the experience is a lot cooler with this spaceship-like interior. Should we put the red on for uh, Stranger Things? <laughs> Good call. We're making the experience more authentic, doing the red ambient lighting. Oh, there we go. Now we're in the upside down. All right, we're going up again. This is pretty cool so far. Holy crap.
I want to thank you for his service. I know we lost Hopper, but without your help, we could have lost a lot more. So this is pretty cool. We just finished the um, Stranger Things drive through experience. And with the VIP package, I guess they have us in these spots. And basically scan that QR code. And just bought a shirt over the phone. And then they're going to deliver it to the car. That shirt right there. Pretty cool. And we got to get to the airport for a 1.30 a.m. red eye. Pretty cool. Just got my uh, event t-shirt. They delivered it right to the car. It's the uh, Stranger Things drive through experience. If you're in LA right now or uh, this week, I'm not sure when it ends, definitely check it out. It was uh, definitely worth the money. All right, guys, it is just about midnight here in LA. We've got a 1.30 a.m. red eye flight to catch. So I'll see you guys back in South Florida. All right, guys, just got back from LA. Uh, it was an amazing trip, great experience. Um, got to see Eddie's new Huracan Evo with its sheepy Mac Daddy package. And um, unfortunately we did not get to drive it. Like I was saying, he ended up ordering some extra parts as well as some beadlock wheels and Mickey Thompson tires. Uh, Monday they're gonna be dynoing the car and tuning it. And uh, then Alex from Sheepy is actually gonna be coming here in uh, a couple months to teach Eddie how to use the car and uh, all that. So that'll be another video. And something else I didn't expect to do my first time in California is buy my dream car. Like I was saying earlier in the video, um, I ended up finding the perfect S63 that was just a couple minutes away from Sheepy. Uh, it was meant to be. The car will be shipping out from Sheepy. And uh, once I get it here, I want to show you guys the car and uh, it'll be kind of like a Robbie's review of my own car. So that should be cool. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.